Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review and today I have the DJI Mini 2 drone. Now this drone is absolutely incredible. When I explain the features that DJI has been able to pack into this tiny little drone, you're going to be blown away by that. But I'd like to give you five good reasons why you're going to fall in love with this drone. And honestly, I think this is the perfect drone for new flyers because it gives you a lot of the technology and a lot of the flight characteristics of bigger drones in a smaller portable package. Now before I get into those five reasons, I wanted to point out that DJI, like with all of their drones, they offer this in two different packages. They've got a basic package, which includes the drone, a battery, the controller, a couple of cables, and a few other like spare propellers and other things, but they also offer a fly more package, which is what I'm going to talk about today, and that's the basic drone with three batteries, a really nice charging hub, a bunch of extra propellers, a few other things that you'll use with the drone. And the reason I like talking about the uh, fly more combination is because when you fly this drone, you're going to realize in a couple of days after you've had it up in the air, you're going to want extra batteries. Then you're going to need a way to charge those extra batteries. You're probably going to need spare propellers because if you're a new flyer, you're going to run into a tree branch or something else and break a propeller. So the fly more combination is a little bit more money, but it's totally worth it when you add up all the things you get as part of the fly more combination and then do the math of what it would cost you to buy the extra batteries, buy the charging hub, buy the propellers. You're going to find that the fly more combination can save you quite a bit of money. So my recommendation to anybody looking to get into the hobby is if you have an option and have the budget to go with the fly more go with the fly more combination because in the long run it's going to save you money all right back to the drone so there are five reasons that i'd like to talk about that will absolutely have you falling in love with this drone now any drone you buy the reason you're buying it primarily is to get a camera up in the air and capture some amazing footage so what this product provides is a one over 2.3 inch sensor which can record 4K video footage from up in the sky. It takes fantastic pictures, which means you can record some footage up there that's as good as most DSLRs are on the ground. So imagine flying over a field or a lake or your backyard or chasing your kids around and capturing that footage in perfect 4K crystal clear quality. That's absolutely amazing. And it's in a tiny little drone. The other thing you want to consider is how long will a drone fly? Now, a lot of the drones on the market that are small like this will fly for four or five, maybe 10 minutes if you're lucky. And that's okay. I mean, you get it up in the air, you have a little bit of fun in the backyard, you land it, maybe you've got a spare battery, you've got to charge the battery that's in it. It kind of breaks the rhythm. You know, it kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it. This drone on a single charge will fly 31 minutes. That's right, 31 minutes. So you charge the battery, put it up, you got a half an hour of flight time out in the yard, or if you're filming something, that gives you plenty of time to get over to your area that you want to film, make sure the shot is framed correctly, capture some great footage, take a bunch of pictures, and have plenty of time to fly back home. So 31 minutes of flight time, and again, I think that's absolutely incredible. The next thing is the safety features built into it. So the drone itself is smart enough to know that if you're in trouble, meaning your battery's getting really low, it can calculate how far away from home it is at any given point. And if you're being goofy and you don't realize that you're running low on battery power, the drone takes over, flies up to a certain height, spins around, flies home, and lands where it took off. So the safety features are incredible. It doesn't have crash avoidance built into it, but honestly, in a drone this small, just be careful where you're flying it. Another key thing with most of the drones, and one of the reasons I love it, is because the connection technology or topology between the drone and the controller is really important. Because the one thing you don't want to have happen is for the drone to do things you didn't expect. So you're flying the drone, and all of a sudden it starts heading that direction. Or you get a signal loss message on your screen, and all of a sudden you're not talking to the drone. Well, what happens? Well, the drone itself is smart enough to know to come home, but you're not going to have that problem with this particular drone because DJI's built in an enhanced Wi-Fi transmission topology that guarantees a rock-solid connection with the drone, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, out to 10 kilometers away. So if you have a clear field, don't do this, but you can fly 10 kilometers and still have a connection to the drone. Now, the reason I said don't do that is because in the U.S., we have a visual line of sight requirement, which means you can't fly the drone further than you can see it, so don't fly it beyond your visual line of sight, but it's good to know that I've got that kind of distance capabilities in the drone, because that means if I'm flying in a neighborhood and there's a lot of buildings, or I'm flying out in the woods, there's a lot of trees, or a lot of Wi-Fi interference, I'm not going to lose connection with the drone, and I'm going to rest assured that I've got complete control over this magical flying machine that I've sent the loft and out 300 yards away from me. So always, always know that you've got a stable connection. And then the last thing I'll mention is the automation built in. Now DJI spent a lot of time in Treasure developing very sophisticated technologies into the drone that allow it to do automation. So you can do things like, it's, it's a technology called Quick Shots, 
that allowed the drone at the push of a button to circle you, to fly away from you, to take a top-down shot over top of you. So the automation built into this means the first day you go out, for, trust me, you're gonna have a ton of fun with this drone, but the first day you go out, you're gonna be a little shaky in those controls. It's hard to actually circle an object and keep your focus on that object. Well, with this one, because of the software built into it, you can hit a button and have it circle you, have it fly away from you, have it fly straight up and capture some incredibly good footage the first day you're flying the thing. So the automation is another important feature. And all things being equal, I just can't get by the fact that this drone, when it's folded up, is so small. It's like a can of soda size. Look how small that drone is, which means you're going to take it with you everywhere. This slides in your backpack, the controller slides in your backpack, and you've got a mobile film crew with you up in the sky to capture any adventure you've got, whether you're on vacation or you're out with your friends or you're just having a good time out at the lake. So as a beginner flyer, perfect drone. And I would even say as an experienced flyer, it's a great second drone to take with you because it's small and portable and people don't even know you have it up in the air so you're not really annoying anybody, which is kind of cool. And that's pretty much what I had for today. Now again, I've been flying this ever since it was released. Hands down my favorite drone to take on vacation because it's nice and small, fits in my bag. I can take it with me anywhere and I'm not annoying people when I'm flying it, but I think it's a fantastic product for new flyers and even experienced flyers. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.